belly fat, stomach fat, fat around your abs, the fastest way to lose it. Yo! Oh, hello Scott. How you doing, Carmine? I'm um, fantastic. Yeah? Yeah, I'm having the best day, living my best life. What yeah. about you, mate? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, I'm just alright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> alright. Alright. Alright, mate. Cheers, <laughs> mate. What's that about? Yeah, sort yourself out. Right, you've got a question for us today. Listen, I'm on Instagram right now. Alright, hold on. Yeah. So I'll let them know we're filming today. Okay. What, yeah. what kind of topics would you like us to cover? Mm-hmm. And we've got, we've got someone in. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the phenom. The phenom. Sixteen. Shout out to the phenom. Respect to you. He's asked us to do a video. The fastest way to lose fat in the abdomen, please. Belly fat, stomach fat, fat around your abs. The fastest way to lose it. Yeah. First and foremost, you can't just choose where you're gonna lose the fat. Oh yeah. That's the key. Yeah. To remember. You can't say, I just want to lose fat on my face or I want to lose fat on my abs, mm. it doesn't, like your body will choose where to lose it. It's different for everyone, but I think for most people, usually the face sometimes is the first place it might go. Yeah. And then the belly is usually, or the lower back might be the last place it goes, or the legs, it depends. It's different for men, women, everyone. Just because you do abs, like if you're doing ab movements, crunches, whatever, that's not burning fat from the stomach. It's no. just not. That just doesn't work. Yeah. It will add muscle. Yeah, you can build but, the muscle, but, but you can't you pick where you yeah, choose the fat. But you won't be able. It won't be visible because it's hidden behind no. the fat. The only way to really reduce fat is by being in a calorie deficit. Yeah. Reducing your calories, yeah. burning more calories than you consume. Mm -hmm. So what we did um, when we were losing weight, we did IF. AKA intermittent fasting. But I've been doing it for I don't know how long now. It's, yeah. it's how I live my life. It's good, man. I do it daily. Yeah, you lose a lot of fat. Just to give you a basic breakdown for now, um, it's just where you eat within a certain period of the day. Let's say, for example, for eight hours of the day, you're going to eat. And that could be from, let's say, 10 till 6. Yep. So early between 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. are you allowed to eat food? Yeah. Okay. And when you eat, make sure that you're not eating obviously crazy amounts of food. Yeah. yeah. And proper. Eat nice. Yeah. Eat proper. Try and make sure you're in a calorie deficit. But then as soon as 6 p.m. hits, you don't eat anything else. The only thing you're allowed to have is water or calorie-free drinks like green tea, black coffee, stuff like that. And that is from 6 p.m. through the night all the way through until 10 a.m. the next day. You can start eating, and eat your breakfast, whatever. And it's only in that window you can eat. And when you're not, you just drink water. Um, and you can choose when it is, it doesn't matter. You can do it 6 a.m. till 2 p.m. You can do 12 p.m. till 8 p.m. It doesn't matter when, um, and it doesn't matter how many hours so much. The maximum, yeah, the maximum. I would say the maximum to eat yeah. is nine hours. Which will give which you will, a Which will be like a window. Yeah, fasting window. Exactly. So yeah, that'll yeah. be from like 12 p.m. till 9 p.m. Yeah. Like that's like one of the biggest I would do. Mm -hmm. But then if you can cut it down to only six hours and do maybe like 12 p.m. till 6 p.m., mm -hmm. even better. Yeah. You, yeah. you need to whatever. Yourself as well. Yeah. Don't just jump straight into something crazy. Just yeah. gradually see what works for you. It doesn't yeah. work for everyone, but yeah. check it out. You know, yeah. that's a great thing to do. Fasting. Um, Watching your calories as well, that's just... Calories is the main thing though. Yeah, like just be below maintenance, so yeah. 500 calories less than your maintenance. Yeah. Um, also, we, we also did it. a video on don't drink your calories. Like, when you're drinking things like Coke, um, lattes... Lucozade. Luc oh, that's the worst. Lucozade. Monster. Monster. Red Bull. Red Bull. They all carry calories and... Tropicana. Tro oh. See those fruit drinks? They're probably one of the worst things to drink. Pineapple juice. Now, the thing is, you got any more? <laughs> <laughs> those calories are not good calories. It's, it's sugar. It's a waste of calories. Yes, it is. So just cut out all the crappy sugary drinks, even like them Starbucks coffees and all that, all that stuff. All that shit. Just drink water and have herbal teas and black coffee. That's it. Don't drink 
crappy food. Uh, crappy food? Crappy food. Maybe if you put it in a blender, maybe you can drink crappy food. Oh, don't do that. Oh, imagine. Don't. So, cut out the drinks filled yeah. with calories. Understand how many calories, roughly, that you, you, you want to try and consume every day. Reduce it. And if you can as well, do cardio. Cardio is going to help you. And if it was me, I would pick one or the other. You either go hit high intensity interval training, so you're going fast, hard, going ham for like 30 seconds, and then maybe you go easy for 30 seconds, or you rest completely for 30 seconds. Those kind of trainers. So you're going hard, then you rest. Hard, rest. And you only have to do that for like 20 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe even 10 minutes, like a short period of time. Or you go real slow. Steady, like slow it all the way down. Yeah. Incline shit. Yeah, like a tortoise. Remember the tortoise? Do you mean the tortoise? Yeah? Tortoise. No, no, no. Tortoise. Tortoise. I'm really, I'm really sorry. You're stressing me out. A tortoise. Do you not know what that is? I know what a tortoise is. Oh, crying out loud. Tortoise. You ain't never seen one. What's wrong with you? Nah. <laughs> yes, tortoise. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. Okay. Alright. You ever seen it? Because you said tortoise. Excuse me. Excuse me, we're trying to do some videos around here. We don't need any of that. <laughs> We've spoken about this. Oh, Bill, yeah. honestly. Yeah, they, they always do this, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Honestly. Yeah. The story of the tortoise and the hare. Well, yeah, well, you got to respect them both thinking about it, because the hare does hit training, the tortoise yeah. does. So, the hare does, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The hare's doing hit, the tortoise is doing um, slow, and steady. slow and steady. But be a tortoise and like go slow, steady, like, and that's by just going for a walk. Walk anywhere, walk to work, walk to school, walk to wherever you want, mm -hmm. walk around your block, whatever, walk. Walk on a treadmill, incline, set the incline to the max, and just walk. Um, just really look like you could do it on a bike, you could do it on a cross train if you want. Could be walking a bike, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously you can't walk on a bike. I well, just go walk on a bike. Not walk on a bike, fucking ride a bike. Like yeah, steady, yeah. slowly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but my favourite is Inclines. We've done tons of Inclines. We've got videos. a video on that. We've got video on that, link in the description. Video on Incline Walks, how to do it. If you want to know, just watch the video. But yeah, pick. You can do really slow for a long time, like 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah? Pick one. But don't do that middle kind of halfway cardio because that's not really ideal for burning fat or like preserving muscle or it's not really gonna you pick one or the other yeah. right because that middle one's more for like the marathon Mo Farah type dogs <laughs> right? look at marathon uh, marathon runners they their bodies are not like ideal figures that you're trying to work towards because they are more about running distances yeah, it's more for that. More endurance. Endurance. It's more about endurance and stamina. Yeah. Whereas we're focused on fat loss. Yeah. If you want to burn fat, you either go crazy or you go steady. Pick one. It don't matter which one. Yeah. But yeah, so do cardio. Watch the diet. Watch the diet. Try IF. Try intermittent fasting. It works for a lot of people. Maybe not everyone. We will do more videos on it. That's Obviously, go gym as well. Do some strength resistance training. Yeah, like, still, uh, still do you know, weights. Do like, weights. Yeah, like, yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Think, like, you know what I mean? And still hit abs. Work your abs. Do different types of core exercises. Um, but the, the, the focus here is going to be the reason that you can't see your abs, the reason that you have belly fat, is because your body fat percentage is too high. All you have to do is reduce it over time. It takes time. Don't think that you're gonna, in two weeks, get rid of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you've got time. a belly, it will take time. It will take weeks, it will take months. It could take a couple years. But it's the consistent effort every week saying, look, this is what I'm trying to achieve. Bam, 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 sticking at it. It will pay off. Um, and you know, before you know it, you know, you're gonna be on the beach, right? And you 
you can have a six pack, right? And you know, you're gonna be saying to yourself, look at me, you're gonna feel great, right? You're gonna be taking pics, you're gonna be putting filters on them. You won't even need a filter, it's like you put it straight on you, innit? Yeah. You're feeling great about yourself, right? And you're gonna be in a positive mood, right? But that's just that's just what we think. Hopefully that helps anyway. Hopefully um, that helps you man, you know, try it. Let us know how you get on personally. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Want to know. Let us know, man. Thanks send for the comment. Some, yeah, well. send us some pics. Any help you need, DM us, message us. We'll help you anytime. Yeah. And guys, like, I hope that helps you. I hope you took something away from it. If you have any other questions, just leave them down in the comments. We'll be happy to help, won't we? Because Scott will probably reply. You probably reply within like 24 hours. What, what would you say? I don't know why you put this SLA on me saying, oh, you've got to contact me. I'll get back to them in 24 hours. <laughs> so as soon as someone leaves a comment, it's like, tip, 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 tip. Yeah, the SLA is 24 hours, so uh, Scott will crack on with that, right? Yeah. Uh, thanks for the question, man. Much appreciated. Yeah, we love questions, so please, if anyone has any questions, don't hesitate to ask us. We want you to ask us questions. Um, yeah, we appreciate it. Cool. Right, man. So, isn't it? Yeah.